Hello everyone, this is Christmas with Sticker Fab. Today we're going to do the installation video of our matte black pillar or window frame blackout. I really wanted to get this install done as early as possible because today has been pretty cloudy. It is 84 degrees here in North Fort Myers, high of 87. I like to do these installs between around 75 to 85 degrees. And if it is really bright and sunny outside, I try to face the vehicle away from the sun, keep this in the shade when we're doing this, because if you can control the amount of heat in that vinyl, you can control the way it acts. But if it's really hot and there's a lot of direct sunlight on it, um, it will dry out our SigFab application fluid, which we're utilizing for this install. It'll dry it out too quickly. Stuff will stick really quickly. And then even if we get positioned well, we won't be able to get that fluid and that air out from underneath these pieces. So what I'm really gonna focus on is the installation of these side pieces. This piece I installed first, and after doing that one, I had a little bit more knowledge and I installed this one better. So we're gonna take that one off and we're going to reinstall it. The upper pieces are really easy to install because if you have a soft top, you can just fold this back. If you have a hard top, take those two panels off and you can access it from the top. There aren't any really big curves in those two pieces. Plus, the vinyl's been cut in a manner so that it covers those areas pretty easily. So, the goal of this kit is to provide this black accent, but it's not a super hard kit to install. We don't consider ourselves vinyl wrappers. We've never fully wrapped a vehicle before, and we try to design these kits with the same kind of people in mind. So you can see that they're deliberate clean lines. They don't go all the way into the trims. If you were going to get into those areas, you would have a lot of bunching up and there would be a lot less room for error during this install. So this kit was designed off of our PPF software, which they go in, they laser scan all these, and then they create these patterns. Let me show you what we're working with. We have all of our vinyl, we have a microfiber, we have some speed wipe detailer. It does not have wax on there. We're not trying to create a barrier in between the paint and the adhesive. And we have Sikrafab application fluid and a felt tip squeegee. These items right here, you can get as a pack on our website. Look at the description of all of our products. We have a lot of helpful hints in there. We have a lot of recommendations and that's what you need to use for your install. I would not do this install without Sikrafab application fluid. Of course, you can do the one drop of dish soap plus a cup of water. However, this is the best mixture and it's going to yield the best results. All right, so I've taken off what I installed the other week. Came off in one quick pull, really. Clean this off, get the rest of the residue off. Of course, it gets a little breezier when I'm going to install this and the sun starts coming out. You really don't want there to be any wind just because you're dealing with some larger pieces of vinyl. Be liberal with this. Just spray it all over and as you peel off your vinyl piece, start spraying that as soon as it starts to come off of the paper. And then if you do catch a little breeze and it folds on itself, it doesn't become permanently stuck to itself. We do offer two of these kits at a reduced price. It just makes it easier for you guys to get two kits in case you have an issue later on down the road, whether that be actually right when you install it or if you go trail riding or do something and for some reason it gets damaged. I forgot to mention that this is a decent solution if you are worried about damaging the paint on these pillars while off-roading. It can give you a little peace of mind. It'll also cover up light scratches that are on the surface of your paint, in case you already have some scratches. So you can see I got stuck right there. Let's go ahead and peel that up. No issues because we're using all this sticker fab insulation fluid. Of course the breeze really kicked up. I'm standing on my steps, but if you don't have steps, I'd probably get a stool because it's a little harder to stay on your door seals and do this. Because of the sun, this is drying out a little bit quicker than I want to. Just gotta spray a little bit more. Since I'm at my office, I really don't have many options. I would have done this in the morning at my home or at night, ideally. 
So basically we kind of want to match this curvature right here, but then we want to keep it on the inner side of the pillar as we're going down. Just cover right up to that portion, but don't really go over it any. So I'm going to get my squeegee. We're going to work this part out first. We're going to get all of this down on the inner side. If we get that fluid out, it won't move around as much. Just want to get a nice base going where we can stretch the rest of the vinyl out. But we have to have a little of it down or otherwise we'll just keep on tugging it and moving it in different directions. I'm going to start in the middle. I'm going to go ahead and squeegee out the bottom if I'm happy with my alignment. I'm just going to do it to right below that curve. So this install is done from here down at this point. I'm going to grab my Sigafab application fluid so I can focus on this upper part. I'm leaning against the glass now. Again, a little warmer than I wanted it to be. A little bit of sunlight there. If you were on the cooler side, I'm talking about like 70s, I would definitely keep a heat gun around or a hair dryer. So we're going to kind of stretch it into this curve. You can see there's another line here where the, the pillar kind of changes direction. I'm going to try to just stretch it right over that little curve. Be gentle. You want to stay cognizant of how it is bunching up. The way vinyl is installed is you're basically just stretching it. And as it stretches, it forms without creases. You give that material a place to go and it won't crease up. Just be patient with it. As the Sikafab insulation fluid dries out, will become stickier. I tend to use my thumbs a whole lot because your thumb's really fatty. Remember this part's definitely harder than the entire center span. Center span super super easy. You can see as it dried out this stuck on itself. Probably gonna respray this upper area since I've been playing with the lower area so much. Just dried out. You can see you might get small creases up in here. However, you just stretch the material out and it just disappear. I'm stretching it out right there. Putting that vinyl where I want it to go. Making sure it doesn't crease. Stretching it around that corner so it holds. Now a good opportunity to get my squeegee, get the remaining fluid out. Just be careful not to crease it. Then just waiting for it to dry so I can get those ends over the corners and not have it bunch up. Dab in these corners here. Looks all worked. This piece, I'm not gonna redo the center span. Again, that one's really easy. It's a nice curve this way, but there's really nothing complex about it at all. So this little notch should face down and towards the outside of the vehicle. That's how you know if you have the correct side. Just line it up on the high side. Use your squeegee, get that fluid out. And then as it dries up, you can work the inside. And there you have it. So just a broad overview again. You can see the line coming down there where it goes into this plastic trim. Still easy to reach, easy to install. But pretty much looks like the way we started out at the beginning of this video. So please like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you have not already, and hit that bell notification icon for the latest and greatest things we're coming out with for the 2021 and up Ford Bronco. Feel free to message us, go to our website, use the contact form, send us a text of things you would like to see for your Bronco.